Right, welcome back to Amped with me, Johnny Doom, and I'm joined on my sofa by Kill the Ideal. How are you? Great, thanks. How are you? Uh, yeah, pretty good. A bit hot. It's been a very warm day, but I'm not complaining. Uh, you've driven up from Lincolnshire. Yeah. Uh, is that where you're all from? I yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know where Lincolnshire is. Is it up, it's down? Middle, 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 earth, middle, 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 middle earth, yeah. hobbits, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, people who don't know Kill the Ideal or haven't run across you. Uh, when did it all start? Tell us about the band. It started in about uh, 2010, uh, just as a little project between myself, Luke, and a friend of ours called Ben. Yeah. Um, that's just a bit of fun, really. Um, we all sort of had jobs, and we just wanted something to do as mates, and had something to do at the weekends, basically. Cause yeah. Where we come from, it's a great place, but there's not an awful amount, a lot to do. Um, and then uh, we sort of went on a different, different path, sort of path, I guess. Um, and then obviously, different guys came in, um, and we basically started to take it a bit more, I'd say, seriously in about 2013, I guess, because mm. we just had so much fun. Um, we then started to actually think about what we wanted to write, and really thought, you know, carefully about what we wanted to do. Um, and then from there, it led on to recording with different producers and yeah. to where we are to, our, to where we are now. So has this been a fairly solid lineup since 2013, the guys who are here, or have you you've been changing since No, then? no, no, there was a, a, a unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately with, uh, with a couple of the guys, they, um, we're still, still friendly with them. Uh, we still, you know, think a lot of them. It's just due to, I'd say, unfortunate circumstances in their personal lives, which led to yeah, to, yeah. You know, well, it happens. It does, yeah. Especially as you get older as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're fairly solid now. No one's leaving now. No, okay, no, that's no, good. That's no. good. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about the music a little bit. What's your influences? What kind of stuff do you write? What you know? What drives you? Uh, it's fairly melodic, from what I can hear. Yeah. But it's, uh, I mean, for for me, I, I like anything from ACDC to Alexis on Fire to Carnival to. Multiple different, you know, uh, bands. Um, I mean, between us, I think um, some of the guys will tell you what, what they like. I mean, we were such a diverse taste of, you know, of music that oh. I think um, whenever we start to write a song, um, I think we have so, at first it's such a racket because we have all these different ideas coming out. And then you kind of yeah. solidify it yeah. slowly. And yeah. uh, so we always have, you know, a headache for uh, two or three weeks and then slowly comes into something what we feel is a, a good song, I guess, yeah. But there's a lot of bands around at the moment who aren't playing particularly heavy or whatever. They're, I don't know, we were, to, we were talking about it earlier with bands like Black Peaks and things like that. There's melody in there, post-hardcore. Uh, it's like the floodgates are open, really, to do what you want, you know, yeah. without having to pigeonhole yourselves too much yeah. uh, and over-explain what you're about, you know. Yeah, well, I think that shows, really, with, like, Bring Me's uh, most recent album. I mean. Obviously, beforehand it was so so heavy, and now obviously there's a lot more melodic textures, material there, yeah, yeah, atmosphere. And, I mean, sometimes, I mean, when we was recording with Lee, uh, Lee, uh, but I always get his name wrong, Batiuk, a <laughs> uh, Death Valley's producer. Um, you know, we was having discussions with him, and sometimes, uh, again. The, the more delicate something is, or the lighter it is, often the more heavier it is because it comes through a lot more. So in a mix as well, guitars, things like that. I mean, AC/DC. You know, back in the nineties when everything used to be, or the gain on on amps used to be turned to eleven, and now you know it's like it's on about two. You know, because it's, it's yeah, you don't have to. No, you, you don't, don't have, have to. to, and that's what we we've learned um, recently with a guy we've been working with. Um, he's really pushed us to a to a new a new height, I guess, and, and really made us see things differently in terms of recording. That's uh, what a good producer does, yeah. you know, starts shaping the band a bit more. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so releases-wise, what can people get hold of? I mean, is there an EP, an album? What is that? Yeah, yeah, we've got um, Heritage. When, when was that? So Heritage was a year or a year and three months, I think, now, ago. Yeah. Since it was out, and then we've got, that was the first, that was a four-track EP. Yeah. Um, that was just self-released, mm. and we've got we've just gone into the studio. We've just come out of that, finished recording our new EP, our new record, which hopefully will be out by the end of 2016. 
So you've been beavering away on that. Are you happy with it so far? Is it finished? Is it mixed? Yeah, yeah. We, we got the last master back, sent back to us today. Mm. So had a listen in the car on the yeah. way down. Yeah, so that's all, always yeah. a good thing, you know, to great, yeah. hear it on the stereo. you got to do it when you drive, man. That's when you yeah. get feels, that's when you get, you know, you get the taste for it. But I mean, yeah. Uh, so Heritage, we're going to watch the video to that in a little while. Um, but yeah, have you got a name for the album yet for people to look out for? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're, we're still, no. no. Uh, we need some help. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it, it is, is hard, yeah. it is hard. Maybe people can uh, get in touch with you on your Facebook page yeah. or something. It's, uh, made, it, it's mega different from the first one as well. It's kind of, it's a completely different direction for us. We've got loads more going on. Um, it, beforehand, it was just pure just what we we didn't really know what we was doing before and did we we just wrote a record and then recorded it but now it's we've put loads of time into it's it it's mutating into something yeah. more interesting good good uh gigs wise as well you got anything you can tell us about this year or just uh, as i said look out for, on the facebook page or yeah know? yeah we've got some uh festivals coming up we've got uh, a festival this weekend um called uh, Mudfest, yep. uh, which is looking really good. Well, I'll be at download, it'll probably be Mudfest, <laughs> <laughs> usually, uh, but yeah, Mudfest. The, yeah, they've they got, um, on our day that we were playing on the Sunday, uh, Lonely the Braves headlining that. So Excellent. That, yeah, so we're really, we've played with them before. Sure ballpark. Yeah, yeah. yeah we played with them uh, in Leicester, wasn't it? I think yeah. at the O2 yeah. there, and they're really nice guys, really, really, you know, really cool guys, so. Um, and then we've, a bit further down the line, we've got, um, a gig which we're really excited about with a band called Normandy, which yeah. we're super excited about, um, and uh, and just in between them, just festivals and one-off gigs really. So yeah, they're, all, they're all on our Facebook page and, and everything. And so go and check them out. Yeah, check them out. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch a video for Heritage. Um, tell us about that. Did you work with someone you you knew? for the video or did you go to a company uh, it seems to be different you know each band i ask they seem to either know someone or they go go to somebody well we we just finished recording with lee batty as we said um, yeah and um we were pretty because it was all self-funded uh, we tried to self-fund as much as we can mm. um and we were pretty skint really um, mm. until we come across um a couple of guys a couple of young lads that were basically putting out um, a competition for basically get your chance to win a free music video. Mm. So we just basically, uh, the idea was you sent them the song and the best song they picked and basically they picked ours and Excellent. Uh, we basically did a video and we were like, where, where are we doing it? And we was like, you know, we were sitting inspecting some, his dad's shed or something. Yeah. And uh, I'll be hitting my guitar with a hammer or something. And, uh, but no, he, he took us to the Peak District and we had to lug all our gear up this like side of this light. I don't know if it was a mountain or what it was. But um, there was a few a few somersaults involved in that one, the J-Bell. Yeah. But um, the drum kit went falling down the whole mountain. And, uh, well, we're going to watch it now anyway, but thanks guys for coming here. Uh, good to chat to you. Uh, everyone out there, check their pages, uh, Kill the Ideal, uh, and just good luck. You know, it sounds like you've got a few things covered. So, yeah, Thank let's watch the video right now on Amped. Uh, this is Kill the Ideal, it's heritage. Give them a wave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Song just one more time for me. 